present for you. <laughs> Come on, Custard. Down you go. So, you just squeeze the bag gently. Make the frosting come out as you go. Like so. <laughs> nice. Really nice. You're so good at that. Oh, pretty. <laughs> just takes a little practice. Anyone want to try? Lemon? Oh, I just know I'm going to mess up your pretty cake. Don't worry. No matter what it looks like, it'll taste the same. Hey, these don't look half bad. Whoa! Well, <laughs> she didn't mess up the cake. Oh, I apologize for bursting in. I'm just excited because I have some special news. Sounds like something very special. What is it? We Berrykins are bringing back an old Berrykin tradition, the Berry Bitty Buggy Derby. Oh, I remember hearing about that. I don't. What is it? The Berry Bitty Buggy Derby used to happen every year. American drivers race their cars around a track for a championship trophy. Oh, that sounds neat. Uh, why did they stop doing it? We got too busy with the harvest for a few years. Everyone sort of forgot about it. It's a shame. You sure seem to have high hopes for it now. Oh, yes. It used to be so much fun. If things go well this year, maybe it could become a regular event again. Oh, wow. That'd be so nice for you. Why do you keep frosting me? Do I look like a cake? <laughs> you do now. The Berrykins are getting the racetrack ready. Would you girls be willing to arrange all the social events that happen before the race? Sure will. Yeah! <laughs> It'll be fun! Absolutely. Oh, uh, if I remember correctly, the Derby was very formal with a lot of peculiar traditions. Yes, that's true. There are some very formal manners associated with the Derby. Manners that we rarely use in everyday life. Uh, you might want to... Oh, girls, I'm sorry I'm late. I was researching cake decorations and forgot about the time. Is the demonstration over? <laughs> Blueberry, you interrupted the princess. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry for interrupting. I didn't see you. That's all right, Blueberry. Now, as I was saying, manners. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blueberry. I was only kidding. You gave me a perfect opportunity for a joke. Yes, we all know it's very unlike you to be late or interrupt. I was just about to say to you all, you might want to brush up on the traditions and etiquette of the Derby while you're preparing. Here's the schedule of the events to be planned. Thanks again. You're welcome, Princess. Planning? What are we planning? The Bitty Berry Buggy Derby. You mean the old Berry Can Car Race? I've read about that. Great! You can help us plan the events. Introduction ceremonies, where the drivers show off their cars. Oh, and the buggy ball. Oh, I bet everyone gets to dress up. Decorations for race day itself? Ooh, I've got some great stuff in my store. <sighs> Let's make this the best derby anyone's ever seen. For the princess. Yeah, so she can get her wish to have it every year. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's starting to be my wish. I want to help the princess, too. It would help me make up for having such bad manners and interrupting her. Don't worry, Blueberry. You're about to become our resident manners expert. Me? Of course. I'm sure you're the only one here who would have a book about derby etiquette. You know, proper manners and behavior for the derby. Actually, I think I just might. <gasps> Well, it took a while to find, but... The Big Book of Berry Bitty Buggy Behavior. This should tell us how to act in any buggy derby situation. Ooh, look! It says that on Berry Bitty Buggy Day, everyone is supposed to bow before talking to the princess. Why? Nobody usually bows to her. It's a formality. Kind of... a special set of manners just for the occasion. But... Aren't manners something you do to make people feel comfortable? Yeah, if the princess isn't usually uncomfortable when we don't bow, 
Why would she be uncomfortable now? Well, it's also a tradition, which is a way to show respect for how things used to be done. Oh, here you go. For the introduction ceremony, it's traditional to wear one pink flower. Why pink? It may not match my outfit that day. Because that was the favorite color of Princess Bertha Berrykin, who had the idea for the race. It's kind of a way of thanking her. Oh, that does sound nice. Okay, so we gotta remember to bow, wear a pink flower. What happens if we forget and do something wrong? It's okay, Blueberry. Don't worry about being perfect. We'll just do our best. Now, let's go. We've got lots to do. But keep researching, Blueberry, and we'll see you later. See you Bye -bye. later, Blueberry. I don't care what Strawberry says. I don't want to goof up in front of the princess ever again. The Derby is the perfect opportunity for me to prove I can have perfect manners. The stage looks beautiful, girls. Oh, that was all orange. She has some amazing decorations at her store. Well, for all of your help, you girls will be the first ones introduced to the drivers when they arrive. Okay, I don't understand this one either. Why do we have to be introduced to the Berrykin drivers? Yeah, everybody knows everybody in Berry Bitty City. Acting extra polite can make an event feel special. It's just another tradition. Oh, Strawberry! Oh, hi, Baby Berrykin. What's a tradition? Well, a tradition is something that keeps being done the way it was in the past. Ooh! Why? Traditions are a way to remember the past and to celebrate it. Ooh! <laughs> I like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Speaking of traditions, Oh, I hope I can remember all the ones in the ceremony. Yeah, that's why I read the whole derby book three times last night. Uh -huh. Okay, bowing, handshake, flowers, headstand. No, not headstand. Where did that come from? Look, here they come! Why does every car have three bows on it? Oh, I know, I know! Because the very first race included only three racers, so we remember them with the three bows. Umbrellas! Time for the umbrellas! Okay, now this tradition really makes no sense. Why would we open up umbrellas just because... Someone is driving. Because it's a tradition! <laughs> very helpful. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Derby. <laughs> You're all going to have a wonderful time. So please, help me welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby drivers. <laughs> to present our esteemed Derby drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Phew. Done. I bet she forgot. And with this traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun. <laughs> what a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I can 
do even better. I can't believe you whipped up these dresses for us so quickly, Raspberry. They're beautiful. And so fancy. <laughs> Gee, well, thank you. I mean, it's just what I do. Where's Blueberry? What's she wearing? A lot of notes. Huh? Good evening, Mr. Bumblebee. My, you're looking well this evening. Uh, well, thank, thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking... Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess? Don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the Derby Ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh, Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh, oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There, perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry. I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> Plum, nothing's happened yet. I know, but I'm so excited, I can't wait to cheer. Crumbling muffins, blueberry! You look exhausted. What happened? Oh, late night. Up studying. What were you studying? All the different times that it's good manners to say please and... <gasps> oh, thank you. <gasps> what is it? I yawned! At the derby! I yawned! Oh, Strawberry, do you think anyone saw me? The book says that's terrible manners. I really think it's okay to yawn. Uh, what? What? Raspberry is standing in front of someone shorter than she is. She may be rudely blocking his view. Bad manners! Bad manners! Bad manners! Uh-oh. Manners maniac coming our way. Quick, hide! Where'd they go? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. Hello, everyone. It's just about time for the race to begin. Before we begin, I just want to let Everyone know, we Berrykins could not have done this race without the help of Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. I also wanted to say I've so enjoyed having the race back again. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Maybe next year we can repeat it. So without further ado, 
I believe it's time for us to start. Oh, no. That driver is about to interrupt while the princess is talking. The worst manners mistake ever. And I should know. Driver, don't interrupt when the princess is talking. It's bad manners. <gasps> oh. oh, no. But, um, all, all I was trying to say is... We, we can't start the race because this driver has a flat tire. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I... I guess I wasn't paying attention. Thank you for letting us know, sir. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Oh, no. Please don't leave. I was only trying to... to him in front of everybody, it hurt his feelings. And now he won't even come out of the cafe. And it's holding up the race. The rules say they can't start unless all the drivers are there. But I was just trying to make sure everything went well. I mean, why is the driver upset? He's the one who goofed up his manners. Um, actually, Blueberry, it's even worse manners to correct someone's bad manners in front of other people. I've been doing that to all of you, haven't I? Well, not exactly. I mean, not really. I mean, uh... Yes. Yes! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> of course, Blueberry. We understand. Learning the right manners can be very confusing. Oh, and I'd better apologize to the driver, too. Now that's good manners. Excuse me, sir. I just... I mean... I wanted to apologize for embarrassing you like I did. In front of everybody. I was nervous and just was trying too hard to make everything go right. I'm sorry. Well, uh... Thank you. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I know what you mean about being nervous. This is the first race I've ever been in. <laughs> I was pretty nervous, too. Well... Do you think there's any chance you might be willing to go back and finish the race? Yep. I'd say those chances are pretty good. understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. <laughs> now, that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens. <laughs>
careful, Pupcake. More apple cider, anyone? Ooh, yes, please, Strawberry. What's your secret? It's so good. Easy, Plum. You just warm up some apple cider with a little orange rind. Mmm, orange. My favorite. A tiny smidgen of lemon juice. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite. A bit of cinnamon and my secret ingredient. What's that? Warm wishes. I imagine my friends enjoying it, and somehow it just comes out better. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe if we drink enough, it will really feel like winter. Well, it's certainly cold enough, but some snow would be nice. I want snow so badly, I sometimes think I can hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah! And best of all, the Glimmer Berry Ball. Oh, I can't wait to start decorating for it. The food table will go here, and the streamers across there, and we'll put chairs along that wall. Plum, I'm starting to think we won't be able to hold the Glimmer Berry Ball in the cafe this year. Why not? Hot cider coming right up. Excuse me, coming through. Because Berry Bitty City isn't so bitty anymore. That's right. The town has grown since last winter. There just won't be room. If not here, then where? I've got it. We'll split up and hunt for a bigger place. We'll all look hither and yon. Hither and yon? Here and there. Ah, great. An adventure in the snow. Oh, good idea. Fun. for the ball? No. Oh, me neither. Oh, uh, well, I found a nice flat tree stump. There's lots of room, but no shelter from the cold. Oh, we might freeze or catch colds or even just uh, shiver a lot. Well, we're definitely not giving up. After you get warm, we'll go looking again. I'll come with you. You guys, I found the perfect place. Come on. So, what do you think? It's perfect for the ball, right? Uh, I don't know, Plum. If someone fell off those branches, they'd hurt themselves. And where would we put the tables? <laughs> no, no. Down here. Oh, warm, spacious, and inviting. I call it perfect. Congratulations, Plum. Good for you. Good job. I did it. Yay for Plum. I knew you would. Plum, since you did such a wonderful job of finding the perfect spot, would you mind being in charge of the party preparations? Oh, I'd love to. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll bring the dishes, cups, napkins, and tablecloths. Uh, Strawberry, can you take care of the party snacks? <laughs> of course. Okay, raspberry and orange. Would you help decorate? Fun! <laughs> Ooh, yay! What do you think of crepe paper streamers draped tastefully across the ceiling? Draped crepe? You got it! Blueberry, lemon, can you please round up as many glow bugs as you can to light the hall? Of course! We're on it! Raspberry and I will get started too! And I definitely better get started if we want to put this all together in two days. Thank you, everybody! gonna make this the best Glimmerberry Ball Berry Bitty City has ever had! Very nice, girls! Oh, it looks great! And the best part? We're a full day ahead of schedule! Oh, which means I have time tomorrow to sew up some fancy tablecloths. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow.
let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. <gasps> what in the world happened? The snacks are all gone. And the glow bugs flew away. Oh, and our streamers and tablecloths are all torn up. If this is a prank, it's not funny. Who could have done such a thing? <laughs> I don't know, but this is really cozy. Oh, I could take a nap in here. This is no time for a nap. <laughs> we have to start over. All that work we did. It'll be okay, Plum. We still have a whole day to put everything back in order. Sure. And I'll go round up some more glow bugs. What I want to know is who would do something so... so... mean. Well, nobody in Berry Bitty City. Exactly. So it must be an outsider. And I'm gonna find out who. And they will answer to the rat of Plum. <laughs> Oh, now you don't like cranberries. Cupcake? Oh, watch out! Oh, how can I make cranberry cookies with you in the way? I told you I have a bunch of baking to do. Oh, come on, you silly puppy. We'll have playtime another time. Huh? <laughs> Strawberries Cafe, hoping you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, hi, Plum. What? Uh-huh. You're all going to stay in the tree tonight? It's the only way to make sure nobody messes up the party stuff again. It sounds like a fun sleepover. Or maybe I can join you later. I just have to make one more batch of snacks. Oh, uh, hold on. Pupcake, go fetch. Bring me that oven mitt, okay, boy? It's the cranberry cookies. Blueberry's winter favorite. Oh, it makes me so happy imagining how much she'll enjoy them. Cupcake! Cupcake, no! <sighs> Plum? Looks like I'm not gonna be able to join you after all. Why? Let's just say it was something out of my control. Good luck! And have fun. See you in the morning. Bye. Goodness, what's gotten into you, silly puppy? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, you think the cranberry is your ball. No wonder. You thought I was going to cook your favorite ball. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't understand. Come on, let's look for your ball. You are. Now maybe you'll let me finish my cranberry cookies. Oh, and everything else. Do you think we'll catch whoever it is? Oh, they'll be back all right. And I'm ready for them. Hey! That's really bright, you know. Oh, sorry. I just want to be ready when the intruders show up. if it's too bright. Oh, right. How much longer do you think we'll have to wait? This floor is really hard. Yeah, not exactly a feather bed. Hey, I know. How about we bring that big pile of shredded crepe paper back in here? Oh, it was a really cozy bed. Good idea. Uh, I don't know, girls. We're trying to keep the place nice and neat. Don't worry, Plum. We'll just sweep it out again in the morning. Cozy. Ah, really comfortable. But we have to stay alert. No problemo. Oh, no. We'll stay alert for you. Honestly, Plum, I don't think these troublemakers are coming back. <gasps> what was that? The wind? A falling acorn? Uh, a really big snowflake? <gasps> Ready? One, two, three! Ah! Uh -huh. It's just a couple of cute...
cute chipmunks. Cute on the outside, but meddling on the inside. I will not allow these intruders to ruin our ball. Hey, get out of here! <laughs> That's right. You better scram. This is our place. Yay! We did it. <sighs> now can we go home? Yes, but first a little precaution. There. That ought to keep those pranksters out. Now we can trade that trash pile for some real bets. Tomorrow is a big day. The Glimmerberry Ball! Oh, I'm so super excited to see everyone in their beautiful new ball gowns. They are splendid spectacular. And I've got all new steps planned out for the dance. And let's hear it for the terrific food we're going to eat tonight! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And let's hear it for Plum for organizing all the preparations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just happy that everyone in town will have a delightful Glimmerberry Ball tonight. Yes, the hall looks fabulous. You've got to see it, Strawberry. Oh, I can't wait. I'll meet you down there when I'm done packing. Okay, see you soon. <gasps> oh, no. Not again. Somebody's been nibbling our snacks. Somebody chased away our glow bugs. And somebody's been sleeping in our streamers. <gasps> and they're still here. <laughs> so, trying to wreck our party, huh? Wake up! Wake up, you meddling pranksters! Get out of here! <laughs> now, we better clean this up. Quick. We're running out of time. What's that? I don't know. Sounds like it's coming our way. Oh, let's get out of here. Come on. with plum pudding. Let's see them try to get back into our Glimmerberry Ballroom now. Great galloping 
Two naughty chipmunks have kept wrecking our decorations. And now they've stolen our ball gowns, just to spite us. Chipmunks? Oh, that's very strange. They're usually timid little guys. There must be some reason they turned into troublemakers. Oh, they did this? Have you ever heard of anything so mean? Shredding our decorations. We found them sleeping in these grass. They aren't the only ones. Raspberry kind of likes sleeping in them, too. <laughs> well, they are pretty cozy. Yes, they are. Oh, that's the answer. What's the answer, Strawberry? The chipmunks aren't the intruders. We are. Us? Uh-huh. They chose this place to have somewhere warm to sleep during the winter. And they probably found it before Plum did. But why do they have to take it out on our Glimmerberry Ball? Hmm. Yesterday, I couldn't understand why Pupcake kept barking at me when I was making the cranberry relish. But when I finally stopped to see his point of view, I realized he thought a cranberry was his red ball, and he thought I wanted to play fetch. So? So? Look at this tree from the chipmunk's point of view. What looks like stealing food is actually their way of staying fed during their winter sleep. So what looks like a pile of scraps to us is really a bed to them? That's right, Raspberry. So all this time, we've been kicking them out of their home? I'm afraid so, Plum. <sighs> now I feel terrible. <sighs> Come on, girls. We better take all our stuff back home. But then, where will we hold our Glimmerberry Ball? I think I may have an idea. What if we just ask the guys if we can stop it? Hey, little guys. Can we talk to you for a minute? That's it. We won't hurt you. I'm really sorry we tried to take over your winter home. We'd like to change our Glimmerberry Ball into a hibernation ball. Would that be okay with you? Everyone will bring donations to our dance tonight, and you'll have plenty of food for the long winter. Where are they going now? chipmunks a lot more than just throwing our usual glimmerberry ball. Me too. It made it much more special. It's like strawberry secret cider ingredient. Warm wishes? Yes. The party was special because I kept imagining how much the chipmunks are going to enjoy their nice home and all the snacks for their hibernation. So do you think they enjoyed the party? <laughs> I think that says it all. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, Berry Can Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line, my very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye! Oh, boy! <laughs> 
<laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> 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 Oh, nothing happened. 
and... Uh... Hmm. It smells better. Is that the sprayer you used this morning? No. That one is over... here. <gasps> oh, very good sparkles. Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. Works on a hat, but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it! We did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the barricades back to normal. That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it. Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! Thanks to Barry. We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. small enough to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. 
tried to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. you make more waiters.
applesauce. Mmm, too lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Oh. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm wrapped tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean give together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying, when winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chest set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. wait. Yeah. I'll get this me yeah. too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so sweet. Yes, yes. yes. let's. Mr. Longface? Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? My... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is going to be the best first brass gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. <sighs> no, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. <laughs> it's her gift. Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe <gasps> a green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. 
shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I going to do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret giftee. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> love it! <laughs> So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret gift D, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me, a plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gift, the Orange, likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! Uh. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. <laughs> Look at this! And this! 
<laughs> oh, cross-referencing by date of printing. Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very thirsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given. Yes, I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret giftie, so you can tell me what you got because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the swan, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good! And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three, did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three, really? Two, three. I don't have it anymore. Two, three. One, two, three. What? Two, three. I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three. Since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three. Oh no. I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> don't worry. I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the box drop to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one likes my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. Don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know. But it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um, didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first Frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface. Right now! Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. 
Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding! Just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. <laughs> Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh, and I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah! A super duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. that's right. right. True. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy first frost, everyone. Come on! Let's get it back! We gotta go on our picnic! Hurry in! Pee! Ho! Pee! Ho! Pee! 
picnic. I want to catch the Berrykins before they cross the lake to the picnic grounds. <laughs> What's a picnic without dessert? Good thing I forgot to pack the dessert for your picnic. What happened to the boat? Whoever used it last didn't tie it up. How can we get it back? Very good picnic! Thanks, Strawberry! Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Ooh, somebody forgot their phone, Strawberry. Here! I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land. And she was... Oh! Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you out. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine! And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> there, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. N no, I tied it up. Maybe you forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last Berrykin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... Uh, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! What? Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, it must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my Cafe Cabaret night? The baby Berrykins are gonna be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But 
But she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. Uh, Plum? Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the Baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well, I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> she's ever played. Oh, boy. I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh, no. That Plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid. Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberry's for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The 
password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry, <laughs> it's you. You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, a lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> hats. We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. Uh, ooh, I, why, thank you. Oh, too bad. Yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. Uh, that's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Bye then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Strawberry? Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I... I, I don't? No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, 
Yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats? No knocking? No password? I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, J.D. Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. Thank you all for coming. And please enjoy some refreshments outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jady Bug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum, what can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you'd... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. <laughs> we would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun! And I love the built-in hopometer. Janie Bug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. 
These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy! Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch, then. See you, Bosley! <laughs> Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. 
But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, I guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what? Oh, my hair! Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Uh, oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit? Strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because 
The person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> Oh, Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it! You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo. Oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've Got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and snacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofalupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <sighs> Tragic. Very sad. What can be done? See the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Barang, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think 
think you better stop, Miss Plum. Uh, oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! No, 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 no. Oh, too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnut Bee. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a Berry Bitty World Record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. It is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had 10 more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of <laughs> strawberry souffle? Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Where's Barry 
can bloom. There he is! <laughs> Time for the very best spring festival! <laughs> According to my History and Mystery of Berry Bitty City, First edition. There has to be a Berry Fest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must plant the events, judge all the flowers, smell all the flowers, know all about spring, not to mention the wonderberry. And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a uh, lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. 
Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well... <laughs> Why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> Um, Katiebug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadiebug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fest Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but. I'm not sure Sadiebug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are you, you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to, to write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet, but... My candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. <gasps> so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. 
won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way, and I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. Like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you, too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote. <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. We've voted, it's time to count the votes. Yeah! One for orange, one for strawberry, two for strawberry, two for orange. And the last vote is for orange. Five plus three is kind of going to carry the two, and, uh, Yes? We have a tie! It's a tie! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> the winner of the election and the Berry Fest Princess for this year is... <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! Voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. Yeah! Yeah! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right, me. Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such uh, <laughs> good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. Must be pretty important. Very important. It's a birthday card to a friend of mine. Oh, I hope I'm mailing it in time. When's the birthday? Next week. Oh, it'll get there in plenty of time. Another letter! Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I 
I'm afraid I've come down with a case of bumbly, wheezy, sneezy fever. <laughs> oh, dear. That's too bad. Well, I think you'd better go home until you feel better. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> I did. Yeah, 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 but. Bless you! Thank you. <laughs> Quick, turn him around! Yeah! <laughs> Now, how am I going to get the mail delivered today? Is there a problem, Postmaster? Well, the problem is, all my delivery bees are on vacation. Which wouldn't be a problem, because they still have one left. Well, the problem is... <laughs> he's it. Oh. So, now the only one left to get the mail delivered is me. Oh, dear. But well, even that wouldn't be a problem. I can deliver the mail to Barry Betty City myself, but but not this. What's that? Special delivery for Clement Cricket. Clear out in Acorn Acres. <laughs> Label says it's for his birthday. When's his birthday? Today. Today? Ah! Oh, no. Uh, here, J.D. Bug, uh, let me help you. No, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I guess you're right. Oh, poor Clem. Looks like his birthday present will be late. But we can only do our very best. Wait! What if I helped you deliver this package, I mean? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Miss Shortcake, but... All the way to Acorn Acres. This is not exactly a hop, skip, and a jump, you know. Yeah, it's across the bridge, way on the other side of the river. I have a scooter. I'm sure I can get it there in time. And I have the day off from the cafe, so I am at your service. <laughs> well, now, that's about the nicest thing I've heard in quite a while. Are you sure you want to give it a try? Very sure. All righty, then. <clears throat> Raise your right hand, please. Repeat after me. I, strawberry shortcake. I, strawberry shortcake. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Through snow, rain, heat, or very gloomy night. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. Do promise to do my very best to deliver the mail on time. <sighs> You are now an official delivery person of the Barry Bitty City Post Office. <laughs> Strawberry! That looks great on you! Thanks, Orange! Thank you, Strawberry. This means a lot to me in the post office, and I expect to Mr. Cricket. <laughs> J.D. Bug will stamp the package and get you on your way. Okay, J.D. Bug? No! Here, let me... <laughs> no, no, you should be delivering the mail. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. Here, I can help. Why, why, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Anybody home? Right there, Plum! Well, if you can stamp this package, I'll be on my way. Oh, <laughs> right. Stamps, stamps, stamps. No! Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> stamps, stamps, stamps. Aha! There! Do not open till Christmas? Oh, absolutely! It'd be cheating. Huh? But it's his birthday. Oops. <laughs> Agile? This end up. <laughs> Return to sender. Oh, special delivery. Wait, how about a nice don't drop this package? Oh, oh, here's a sorry, doesn't live here anymore. 
<laughs> I've been looking for that one for months. No, thank you. Well, congratulations to our new postal carrier. Orange told me all about it. Hi, Plum. Love the hat. Do you get to keep it? No, just helping out for the day. <laughs> Hiya, Pupcake. Take good care of this package, okay? It's got to go all the way to Acorn Acres. <laughs> Acorn Acres? Way out there? Oh, can you make it in one day? Oh, it's still morning. Plenty of time. Uh, wait! Uh, who's taking care of your cafe? <laughs> Mr. Longface. He's teaching a cake decorating class. Strawberry. Lemon? What is it? I've got a problem. Pupcake, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet! Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... No! Oh, Ouch! Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered, I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bay City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard that the storm we had the other night. It blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry? Strawberry, come back! <laughs> Only one rule today. Only words you can say. I guess I can, and let's make a plan. But even if we could clear the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter.
have to go. Oh, look, Popcake. That's the way to Oak Tree Meadows. The road to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. <sighs> now which way should I go? Uh, I keep telling them they should fix this huh? thing. But do they listen? Because you didn't ask nice. What do you know about nice? Uh, nice is my middle name. Uh, no, it um, isn't. Excuse uh -huh. me. Yes. Um, is not. Yes. Okay, what is my middle name then? Ladybird. <laughs> Your name's Ladybug, Ladybird, Fairy Beetle. <gasps> How did you know that? Um, girls? Because maybe I've known you all your life and I'm your twin sister. My luck. If someone had asked me, I would have picked a different twin sister. Me too. Or, or, or I'd pick triplets. But none of them would have been you. <gasps> uh, hello? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. We need your help. You certainly aren't talking to me, are you? We most very certainly are. Certainly for certain. Oh, well, what can I help you with? Can't you see? Sorry, but, um, you're gonna have to tell me. Let's make her guess. Silly, stop fooling around. This is serious. Well, I have a serious, uh, thing too. And, oh, can you tell me how to get to Acorn Acres? <gasps> Grew uh, away? And we're really hungry. <laughs> I'm hungrier. I said it first. <laughs> Doesn't mean you were hungrier first. Girls, please, please explain. How did your picnic grow away? Well, we were looking for a place to have our picnic, and I had some great ideas, but she wouldn't listen, because my ideas were best. And while you were uh, discussing, the flower grew up where you left your picnic things? And now our picnic is up there! And we're down here! And I'm hungry. I'm hungrier. I am. Come on! We better get your things before they grow away any further. No way! You're gonna help us? Of course! But we need to be quick. That is so nice of you! Almost there. Steady, steady. Now lower. Watch out, Pupcake. <sighs> there. Oh. Hey, that's mine. Nuh uh. I made it. You made it for me? Okay, then what did you make for me? Don't spill that! <laughs> I can't open this. Give it to me, then. With your shaky hands? <laughs> I think not. <sighs> Come on, Popcake. I guess the only thing we can do is try one of these roads. Where are you going? Yeah, don't you want to join us? It's a picnic for two, but you could share some of hers. Oh, thank you, but I have to deliver a package to Clem Cricket. If only I knew how to get there. Oh, right! It's his birthday! Yup. Too bad he didn't have a party. Maybe he didn't invite us. Why would someone not invite me? How did you know it was his birthday? He's a friend of ours. Yep. Lives right up the road, right up there. This road? Uh, no, that one. Mm, that one. That way, to the river. Oh, yeah, you're right. I am? Yep. Just follow it to the river, go across the bridge, over the next hill, and you'll be right there. Go. Oh, thank you. Anytime. Sure thing. Hear that, Popcake? <gasps> it sounds like a river. Look, Popcake, the bridge. Come on. On the other side is Acorn Acres. We're almost there. Oh, we're gonna make it in time. Oh, no 
way are we getting across? was out. Oh, Strawberry. Listen, I have to go tell the postmaster what happened. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I wish there was. I just... don't know what it would be. Hey, your hair looks really nice. Your idea really worked. Thank you. And the avocado oil? My hair's never been so shiny. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, what a day. <laughs> everything got delivered. I'm sorry to say not everything. I'm very sorry. I tried. I got as far as the bridge, but it was out. Yeah, I'd heard about it after you'd gone. Too late to stop you, I'm afraid. It's quite a thing you did getting that far. But I didn't deliver the package. The mail didn't get through. Oh, and I promised it would. Actually, you promised to do the very best that you could. And you did that. You see, there are times when things happen that are out of our control. The only thing we can do is the best we can. I'll call the post office in Big Bitty City. See if we can bring in some help. Maybe take the back road through Oak Tree Meadows and get to Acorn Acres that way. Will they get here in time? Well, we can only do our very best. I just wish I could have delivered it. Maybe you still can, Strawberry. What's all this? I, um, sort of spread the word that you needed help. You always help us when we need it. So we decided to help you. Here in Berry Bitty City, we always try to help each other get the job done. We all put our heads together and came up with an idea to help you deliver the package. Oh, thank you, everyone. What idea? <laughs> Cupcake? <laughs> Cupcake, where are you? <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Do you need a bridge now? I think this is perfect. Thank you, everybody. Da -da. <laughs> Miss Shortcake. Oh. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Hang on, Pupcake. <laughs> Special delivery for Clem Cricket. <laughs> this is for you. And happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Spout? Isn't that the orange spout? Mm. 
This is orange flavored, but it's the wrong color. What's going on? What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh-oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh, no! Oh, well. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the Berry Works. Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh! <sighs> Him. Like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? <laughs> hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! She's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. That is, if we can catch him. I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! yeah! Favorite. 
Plum purple. Raspberry. Blue. Orange. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Strawberry! Ooh, pretty. Nice. I like it. Hello there, baby berrykin. My name is Strawberry Shortcake, and strawberry is my favorite color. <gasps> Me too! <laughs> strawberry, come play! Strawberry, come play! Oh, Adorable! <laughs> Aww. Well, that sounds like fun, but don't you think we should ask the princess if it's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Take care, Strawberry! You're very, very welcome. World. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? bottle. Wait, it is baby oil, but the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Uh oh! <laughs> Better catch him! Mr. Longface, you've just about won! <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Ooh. Oh, here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> oh, oh, but but this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. Oh, oh. oh you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um. Yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one, too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to 
show you. have a future in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is! It was him! Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it! Your miniature golf course! Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! But, but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last uh, ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, Baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. Ball belongs to which player? Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play mini golf. Please, Strawberry. Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. I know, I know. I can take out Berry Sparkles and I can put them back, Strawberry. Promise. Really? Oh, that's great. Keep playing. Yeah, you did it! Oh, yay! oh brilliant! Very good! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Say, can you help 
princess. You did such a good job taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? You see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice, smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! she's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh! No? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh! Okay! Pretty! Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Berrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think. How will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. On me. I love it. <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, so yeah. good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry. Hiya. Hi, Strawberry. Uh -oh. oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all going to look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played uh, uh, croquet. Well, it's kind of 
looks like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> A new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, here, let me. Oh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. <laughs> okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. It looks great. <laughs> Never looks better. I love it. <laughs> sure does. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I'm in us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. <sighs> <sighs> I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault. We were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Merang. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed, due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah so it's nice. nice. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, oh, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. scissors. oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. Get your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love this! Yeah. What a beautiful yeah. day! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. 
But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? Ta-da! Welcome to Lemon's new salon, where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new salon of Matic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The salon of Matic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Salon Omatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! me. I'm gonna do it! Me. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing! They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends? Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things, as well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean matic Hey, does anybody need a, uh, you know, trim, a uh, manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Hey, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Well then, uh, bye, I guess. New hairstyle? Manicure? <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to see how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the clean matic next? <laughs> of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mm. Mm. Alive with fruit flavor! <laughs> Lemons are natural. I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. 
and step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ow. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? I, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello hi. hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. Don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But... How's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon o did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Even do anything. What a bust. Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service. But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did what get where? We just wanted you to stay. <gasps> but it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Ooh, well, I... Uh... I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave. Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst, it never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your fairy. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, oh no! Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure.
That's why they call it a Wanderberry. <laughs> we better find it soon. We need it for the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Oh, uh, we'll find it sooner or later. <laughs> we always do. Well, according to the rules, the Berry Fest princess is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. My, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich, the shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes, perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah. if you yeah. sure. yeah. uh -huh. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! Do it. Come on, oh. Strawberry. Give it a good shake. Oh, that's it. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, look. There it goes. At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never, ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I 
know is, we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! How will we get the berry back now? Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah, can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Can I take a little break? <sighs> Me too. I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Well, why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess. Guess it'll be okay. Oh, pupcake custard. Do you hear that? Mm, it sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why won't you tell me what... Oh, no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that... Oh. oh, my. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo-hoo! 
46 and 47. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Perican Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. Did you find the new Wonderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wonderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you gonna do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah, tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's gonna happen? What'll we do? Yeah, what? I don't know! I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one. But it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. 
Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more! Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yay! But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No, I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men. Alrighty now, folks. 
season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. 
long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder. <gasps> and colder. And colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern. Because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no idea. Me too. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess they didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful... Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there... That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Raspberry? <gasps> what? Is that your Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I can make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, great size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> What was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Oh, hey, well, where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's... Oh, almost 
almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying, but it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, Simon did it! Copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, we're talking about copying. Who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's going on? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat, 
and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it! Do it. Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give, me another oh, second. Second. Yes. give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you!
What is it? A little fish. He is kind of cute. Kind of? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey, little guy. Hey, sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared. Are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. And, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We... Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah. I won't hurt you. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just asked that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble, cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And I'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. What's his name? Stuart. Isn't that the cutest name you ever heard for a fish? Stuart? Where is he, Orange? Oh, look! He's super cute! Hi, Lemon! Hello, Plum! Hi, Raspberry! Hi, Lemon! Oh, what a doll! Where's your fish? You can name him Fish! Or Mush! Or Swish! His name is Todd. I thought it was Stuart. <laughs> Catchy and cute. And dignified to boot. And look what I taught him to do! Strawberry. I have one with pictures. Oh, I love the ones with pictures. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Uh, seen Blueberry? I'm right here. Emergency. Todd sick. I, I need books on fish care, fish diseases, fish cures, fish medicine. Oh, no. What's wrong with him? List the symptoms, please. Well, he has growths. Ugh. Oh, Todd, I'm so sorry. Where did I go wrong? I've tried to give him everything a fish needs. I know you have. Everything a fish could want. I know you did. Everything a fish... He's not a fish. <gasps> He's a tadpole. A, a tadpole? What's that? A baby. Frog. <gasps> Todd is a fish! He's a frog. Todd's a frog? Well, he will be. Soon. 
he'll grow arms and legs and lose his tail. This process is called metamorphosis. So, um... So, at least he's not sick. But it might be best to take him back to the stream, huh? What? I, I can't do that. I, I promised to take care of him. But that's when you thought he was a fish. It's just that, well, isn't a frog more than you bargained for? I am not going to turn my back on him just because he switched species. He, Tad, can't help it if he's a frog. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there, that's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. I know, I know, you don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired, tremendous, cutting edge. <laughs> See, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> are supposed to be washed or dressed up, maybe it would be best to let him go in the wild. Out there? All alone? Oh, no, 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 no. He, he's much better off with me. Uh, come on, Dad. Uh, thanks, Lemon. Uh, I'll bring him back tomorrow, okay? I'll have a talk with him. He'll be better behaved. Uh, I promise. Can't wait. What is that? I promise, it's not my stomach. We believe you. I have a feeling I know just what it might be. Oh no, Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage, and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a uh, blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Uh -oh. Huh? Who? What? Is he? Five minutes. 
minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange, what are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Tad. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> well, I gotta admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. <laughs> Mrs. Drewberry came home and discovered the kittens had unraveled her yarn. Oh, excuse me. Strawberry's Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, my. Yes, right away, Princess Berrykin. I just turned around and see what I found? Our berry juice ruined! I'm very sorry, Princess. I'll talk to Orange. Thank you, Strawberry. And a graceful lift with the left arm. Uh. Please, everyone. This is water ballet, not wood chopping. <laughs> <laughs> and now, everyone, with grace and style, I'd like you to <gasps> look out! Yeah, I think. Uh-huh. Oh, Strawberry. Orange promised to let me use this pool, but every class gets interrupted by Tad. I'll talk to her. I promise. Oh, Strawberry! It's the very I mean, I can't tell you, it, it's... What is it, Raspberry? What's happened? I'm upset! I can see that you are. What upset you? It's all my work! My sewing and stitching and... Your frog forward fashions? Let me guess, Tad didn't like them. No! He loved them so much, he ate them! My goodness! And all Orange said was, he's just a frog. He didn't know what he was doing. That doesn't sound like the Orange we know. No, it sounds like the orange who's got a pet that's become more important to her than, than manners. I'll talk to her. Strawberry! Orange, what's the matter? It's Tad! He's, he's gone! <laughs> Now, don't worry. Everyone's out looking. I'm sure the Berrykins will find him any minute now. He couldn't have gone very far. I did everything I could for him. I kept him cool when he was hot, warm when he was cold, bathed him, sheltered him, rented him. No frog has ever been so loved, and, and, and now he ran away. Huh? <laughs> Orange, I found your pet. <gasps> Look, there! Uh, there. <laughs> there he is! Yeah. Tad! What are you doing up there? You come down here this instant. <laughs> now he's asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. Um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! Oh, gee. Thank <laughs> you.
Orange, everyone knows you to be so kind and considerate. But I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad, but you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends, my very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes. Because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange, I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, Strawberry, please give him, I mean me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see, I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... Wow! I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. Really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rights to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh! Well... Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, you could do something even more difficult. Of course, I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. There it is. Do you think he's going to think I don't love him? Oh, I'm worried he'll never get over it. Oh, Tad. I know this is difficult. Try to be strong. <gasps> say goodbye. But did you see how happy he was? Yeah, you're right. He wasn't just happy. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. Oh, and that makes me happy too. How about a picnic? I think that is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Then the Galumphalot glumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> 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 hey, Orange. I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! you decided to have a special <gasps> Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza? <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. 
Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement. Thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. Oh, I've had a busy week. Junction over in Very Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longshank. The problem is not over there. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there too. Sorry. So what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then you were the one that tight roped across. Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Oh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, Galumphalots! <gasps> Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Wuggy, Wuggy, Wuggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of Galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because... I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe Galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because, well... Oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times, and I've never, ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there. 
outside in the dark? Oh, come on. This is silly. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Do you think th that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galump a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Woogie, woogie, woogie! Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. galump a lot. <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> I say! <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry! And it's answering back! Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover! Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem, and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> Do you think the Galumphalot will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs> <gasps> it sounds like it came from Orange's store! <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store! <gasps> I must have caught one. Oh, sir! What's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me! Oh, I hope I didn't break anything. Oh, can someone please? Catch it, Orange? Uh, did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer. There's only one thing to do then. Run? No. We must defend the beauty salon. No galumphalots allowed. No galumphalots allowed. I wonder. 
once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we. What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a galumph lot Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, okay. Yeah, hurry. Okay. Okay. What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some ones and slid all the way over to strawberries. Oh, uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the galumphalot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Stand over there, please. And if you can stand over on that side... Outside! Lemon! Are you in there? <gasps> he knows my name! No! 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 Very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not true. real. It's just a story. Oh, oh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumphalot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better. Uh, follow me. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me. F f follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh no! The galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends! And lots of them! There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared. Even though we are. <sighs> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three. Or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too! I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good 
number? Yeah, yeah sure. that's, that's a good okay. idea. Okay. in your salon still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? Oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? Uh, there was a galumphalot. And we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Store, too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even golem for lots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone inside for my special Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza! Sorry, accidentally hit the light switch. <laughs> Strawberry, thanks for asking. Yes, we do. <laughs> then dig in. <gasps> what was that? Oh, is it the Fairy King marching band practice season already? No, that's not for another month. Wait, Let's go find oh, out. Yeah, 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 we gotta see what this is. What is it? Very What's exciting. What's going on? To a answer. bigger pardon. Oh, no, I beg you. No, 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 no. After you. No, after you. No, 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 you first. No, 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 no. I insist. One Coming ladybug you, argument coming you, up. You. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say it together? What a wonderful idea, Ladybug. We're starting a new club. And we want you to join. Club? Run by Sadiebug and Katiebug? But they're always arguing. How much fun could that club be? 
Unless it's a debate club. Behold! Our Good Citizens Club! See? We even have membership pins. A Good Citizens Club? Really? They do seem to be getting along. Maybe they've turned over a new leaf. Make it a whole tree. Pardon me, but what exactly does a Good Citizens Club do? What exactly is a citizen? A member of the community. So a good citizen is... A kind and helpful member of the community. Uh, yeah! <laughs> and good citizens do... Good citizens eat things. Like bringing soup to sick berry kids? Donating old clothes to the needy? Keeping Berry Bitty City clean? Uh, sure. <laughs> and if you do something really good citizens eat, you get membership pins. See? Ooh, a membership pin. And we even have a motto. Oh, what is it? Happy to serve others. Oh, oh wow, that's, that's just really great. great. I like that. <laughs> so, what's next? Do we do helpful things for the community and its citizens? You got it. Just do as many of those things as you can before our first meeting tomorrow evening at the Good Citizens Clubhouse. And then we can talk about uh, those uh, Good citizens -y things that we all did. And think up some new ones, too? Definitely. Sure thing. Why not? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last minute special delivery! Super duper really important highly special good citizens club first meeting reminders! Sorry, my fault. No, 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 my fault. Not okay. mine. Please make sure you deliver all of them before tomorrow. Hi, Orange. I was thinking I might bring some snacks or something to the meeting tonight. Do you have any crackers? Hi, Plum. Sure, I'll get them. Wow, Orange. Pretty. Oh, isn't it? My Good Citizens Club membership pin. It came in the mail. Where's yours? Um, my mail hasn't come yet. <laughs> hey, Plum, what do you think? I created a whole new fashion statement to go along with my Good Citizens Club membership pin. Wow, that's a very creative idea, Raspberry. I love it. Nice outfit, Raspberry. Oh, wow. Oh, you look great. Oh, yes, fantastic. I have to go check my mailbox. I can't wait to see my pin. I didn't get one. Why didn't I get one? How am I supposed to go to the meeting tonight without a membership pin? I don't understand. Well, I'll just have to ask the ladybugs what happened. Maybe she went to do a good citizen thing by herself. Well, I'm sure she'd like to join us. It's way more fun to work together. Let's leave her a note on the door. We'll tell her that we're over at the Berry Grove helping the Berrykins dig a new path for a stream so that it will go around the grove instead of right through it. Very good idea. Over here! No, over here! It'll be way oh, better good. here! Oh, You're here! here. Discussion about where to put the banner. Where, where would, would you, you put it? it? Uh, right in the middle? Excuse me, but the other girls have Good Citizens Club membership pins, and I'm just wondering what I need to do to get mine. Is there some sort of test or something I have to pass to show I can serve others? Uh, Plum, would you mind giving us some privacy for a moment so we can have a, um, a, um, hmm, club leaders conference. Of course. I'll be just right outside, ready for my test. You forgot to send her pin. Did not. Must have been you. You're always forgetting something. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Are you ready with my test? What are we going to do? We can't lose her as a member of our club. 
I guess we'd better give her a test like she wants. Oh, uh, right. But we don't have a good Citizens Club test to give. Well, she said she wants a test on serving others. Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes! You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So, your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside and out? <sighs> uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. More like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. That's two. It doesn't. That's two. It doesn't. <sighs> Finished. Exactly the way we wanted it. Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no, it looks terrific, really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh, three. Yeah, three skirts. Yeah, we always use three. Uh-huh, three. Oh. <sighs> I wonder where Plum is. Yeah, she's missing all the mud. I'm sorry, but I have to ask. Just what exactly does this have to do with being a good citizen? Well, all that painting made me hungry. And all that painting made me thirsty. And obviously, we need snacks and drinks for tonight's meeting, right? Yes. I actually have some crackers I was gonna bring. That's it. We'll need a lot more than just crackers. And drinks, too. And we need to sample the snacks and drinks first, of course. But what does snack tasting have to do with good citizenship? It's, um, making sure it's good. For the citizens, of course. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Happy, Happy to, to serve, serve others! I can make peanut butter and glimmerberry sandwich surprises. Blueberry and lemon will like those. And kiwi smoothies. Hmm. Dear Plum, when you're finished, we are over at the berry grove helping the berrykins dig a new path for a stream. Oh no! The other girls are already doing good deeds for the community. I'm so behind. I've got to hurry. <laughs> busy all day. I know. Let's leave her another note. Sorry we missed you at the Fairy Grove. I'm sure you've been very busy being a good citizen. See you at the meeting. Love us. Ew! You call this a snack? 
duck? How about this one? <laughs> but the snacks aren't just for you. I thought this was about the other club members, too. Uh, oh. Well, okay. These'll do. Time to move on to test number three. Number three? You're only one test away from your membership pin. Well, okay. But this is the last one. Just give us a sec to have another club leaders conference. <laughs> Planting flowers in the community garden is a great project for the Good Citizens Club. And I have all the right things to do it with. And I have just the right design for it, too. This is going to be great. Plum will love it, too. She loves planting flowers. I wish I knew what she was doing all day. It's almost time for the club meeting. She definitely wouldn't miss the first meeting. She came by this morning and picked up some crackers for all of us. That's so nice of her. Let's go by and pick her up. Well, did you decide yet? What's my final test? Uh, this place could use a little color. But I already painted it. Pink, like you wanted. What she means is color and fragrance. So, cut some flowers from the community garden to decorate the clubhouse with. How about I gather some flowers from the forest? But the prettiest flowers are in the community garden. You aren't supposed to pick flowers from the community garden. Those flowers are for everyone to enjoy in the garden, not for us to take home for ourselves. I'll pick some flowers from the meadow. My favorite ones are in the community garden. But community service isn't about what your favorites are. Don't you understand? If everyone picked those flowers for themselves, soon there wouldn't be any left. And no one in Berry Bitty City would be able to enjoy them anymore. Uh, we could enjoy them. We thought you wanted to serve others. Others like us. We thought you wanted to be a good citizen like everyone else in the club. <laughs> well, are you going to pick those flowers? No. Saying no is simply unheard of in the Good Citizens Club. Then I guess I can't be in your club. <laughs> I can't be in our club? But, but you, you have to be! I'm sure you've been busy being a good citizen. Fellow good citizen, you've been doing good citizenly things. <laughs> Gee, was it something I said? Something certainly not right. Plum? <laughs> What's wrong, Plum? Tell us. We're your friends. I'm not a good citizen. What? But Plum, you're one of the very, very best citizens I know. I... I didn't pass the test that you all passed, so I'm not in the club. Test? What test? I didn't take any test. I didn't take a test. Did you? Nope, not me. I don't think anyone did. What are you talking about, Plum? The ladybugs didn't give you tests? Then how come you all have membership pins and I don't? Didn't yours come in the mail? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time for us to have a good citizen word with the ladybugs. That one. No. That one. You call that a flower? Now that's a flower. <laughs> and like you would know. Are you saying I can't pick a flower? I am saying that you couldn't pick a flower to pick if the flower picked you! Uh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Early for the meeting, are we? We're here to find out why you gave Plum a good citizen's test, and not any of us. Um, sorry. Uh, we can give you girls tests, too, if you want. <sighs> why would any of us have to take a test at all? Especially Plum. Plum is always a good citizen. You weren't going to cut the community flowers, were you? Um, well, yeah, because Plum wouldn't. 
so we have to. Plum wouldn't? No. It was her final test. But she said no. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, excuse me. How come I never got a good Citizens Club membership pin, but everyone else did? We don't know why you never got it. We, um, mailed your pin out with the others. But, but what about the tests? We sort of kind of got the idea from you. Me? Well, you seemed like you really wanted to take one, so... Because I thought all my friends had. You don't have a clue about what makes a good citizen, do you? <laughs> Why did you start this club anyway? Well, um, so we could be in a club. And be, you know, really popular. And be the leaders. Like the bosses of the club? No one's ever wanted us in a club before. I guess now we know why we're not very good citizens. Sadie Bug, oh, Katie Bug. I think your idea for a good citizens club is a great idea. You do? But you definitely didn't follow your own club's mission. Happy to serve others. You have to be the ones to serve others, not others serving you. We're so sorry for not acting like good citizens. And we promise we'll do better from now on. Strawberry, will you take over as club leader? I'm glad to see you've learned your lesson, but... Hmm, I know someone who has already proven she'd make a perfect club leader. Cutting the community flowers and taking them for yourselves isn't being a good citizen. But saying no to something you feel is not good for the community was a brave and very good citizen-y thing to do, Plum. Me? Yes! Yeah! If that's the case, I call the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club to order. <gasps> the chair leader recognizes Blueberry. I move that we hold our first meeting as a camp out. Your attention, please. Now, I'd like us to vote on Strawberry's idea that the club do something good for the entire community by planting more flowers in the community garden. And after that, we can spruce up the town gazebo. And maybe some warm scarves for the Berrykins for the winter. A stylish ones, of course. And we can, um, um, um... Oh, 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 oh! We eat snacks! <laughs> Make snacks <laughs> for the berry kids and the berry marks. Yeah, because they all work so hard. I think that's a lot of good ideas for our club to do. I call for a vote. All in favor? Aye! The ayes have it. Aye! <laughs> and now I officially declare that at the close of our first meeting of the Good Citizens Club, we should sing a song. Everyone listen up, hear my proclamation. 